So country superstar Garth Brooks tonight is responding to some backlash he's getting after saying he will serve every brand of beer, including Bud Light, at his new bar in Nashville. And if you're not sure why that's actually news, it should be on a national broadcast that a bar is going to serve Bud Light. Well, it's because of the controversy, the sort of culture war controversy about it. That's after Bud Light partnered with a trans influencer for a social media ad campaign back in April. Here's what Brooks had to say. I'm a bar owner now. Are we going to have the most popular beers in the thing? Yes. Here's the deal, man. If you want to come to friends and local places, come in. Come in with love. Come in with tolerance, patience. Come in with an open mind. And uh, it's cool. Stephen Romo is joining us now. Um, and Stephen, it is, it is notable to hear this from Garth Brooks, who is, in, in, of course, known for his country music, right? Um, and when you talk about where some of this backlash against Bud Light has come from, um, there is a storyline here. Talk us through it. Yeah, Hallie, the backlash that Garth Brooks is seeing right now has been pretty harsh online. I actually just looked at his social media pages right before you came to me, and the backlash has gotten even more intense. People saying that they're just done with him, people saying that they may even burn the merchandise they do have from him, certainly saying they're not going to buy any more. One person even posting a picture of what appeared to be vomit on Garth Brooks' Facebook page. So some disturbing stuff, but not all that surprising. You mentioned the trans influencer, Dylan Mulvaney, who sort of started this whole Bud Light backlash from Pride, uh, who has faced even more than what Garth Brooks is facing right now. From this, we've also seen backlash against Target, even Cracker Barrel now, facing backlash online from people who are upset for multiple reasons about the situation for Pride Month, which, by the way, is nothing new, Howie. The decision to not boycott Bud Light feels somewhat on brand for Garth Brooks, right? Yeah, it absolutely is. Some people are surprised by that. But if you've paid any attention to Garth Brooks over the past few decades, this should not be much of a surprise. All the way back in 2000, he was part of a concert called Equality Rocks with George Michael advocating for LGBTQ plus issues long before many politicians who are now champions for those same issues were a part of any of this. He's also uh, his late sister, Betsy, uh, was a member of the LGBTQ plus community. A lot of people pointed to that, maybe opening his eyes to the issues of a community that he himself is not a part of. By the way, something that many families experience uh, once they have someone they actually know within the community. Stephen Romo, thank you for the latest on all that. Appreciate it. The culture wars in America, if you will. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.